First of all, I, I, I mean, want, you can't blame the kid for grabbing her ass. Look how hot she of is. Of course, man. <laughs> she looks like a cross between James Wood and Joy Ramone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I mean, who, how could he resist, man? <laughs> it was funny, man, because along the way, I heard she ran to DTMerch.com. <laughs> <laughs> Even put a shirt on there. <laughs> She loved a shirt right there. <laughs> Look, that is Samantha's shirt. At least she found her way here. Okay. Got a new backpack on the Ooh, I like merch it. store. I like that too. We got the one we eat, sleep, double toasted replay. And look at this. I only wake up for double toasted oh. right there. Let's get into Martin. Into that Legion of Doom out there, uh, Martin. Legion of Doom getting bigger and bigger. You know, we got. Who's the newest member? Got a lot of villains. Well, let's refresh some people on the, on the, uh, the, the rogues gallery that we got right now. Y'all might remember one of the first ones to blow up. You remember that origin story? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Barbecue <laughs> Becky. Uh, it's illegal to have a charcoal grill in the park here. No, it's not actually. I just yeah, looked at the it map. Is. It says this is a designated barbecue area. No, if you, it, not for a charcoal grill. No charcoal. M Martin, thank God for her. All parks are safe from charcoal <laughs> grills. <laughs> They say, no, no, no. She's not a hero at all. Barbecue Becky, the first one Legion of Doom out there to ruin your barbecue. Mm -hmm. call, the poli call the police on people, black people, because you're using charcoal, Martin. That's not regulation. <laughs> and the thing is, with that, people knew that that was bad, but then got really, got really bad when people started doing it to children. I mean, you had Permit Patty out there, and that's my, that's my favorite one because she ain't, you know, they all had their own personalities. Like, Barbecue Becky, she might be wrong, but she can, you know, she'll stand up for her shit. Yeah. She'll stand her ground. Oh, uh, but some of them are our cowardly lot. <laughs> <laughs> Permit Patty, man, she, she ran in here with them lights cut on. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. She calling the police on an eight-year-old <laughs> little girl. <laughs> you want. Hey, what, what are you, a mom? The whole world gonna see you, boo. Yeah, look at <laughs> <laughs> She thought she had a cloak of invisibility on. <laughs> Oh, uh, and then you got, they finally let a man up in the group. Got the own Lex Luthor, ID Adam, calling black people at the pool, calling police on black people at the pool. Exactly. Where does he say that I have to show an ID to use my pool, my own pool? He doesn't say he has to show an ID anywhere. Does he, does he, does he say that? Yeah, can say shit. Yeah, look at uh -huh. him. Maybe I shouldn't have started this. <laughs> yeah, look at him. You see what he's playing with there? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> shit, I should have just shut the fuck up and went swimming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Barbecue Betty, Permit Patty, ID Adam. I can't wait for the action figures to come out more. <laughs> Collect them all. <laughs> you say that, but I'm sure somebody's working on them. You know, there was, and there's others out there. Some. They're coming so fast, some ain't got the name yet, man. They ain't got the ID cards yet. <laughs> they, they had, you remember that one where they had the, the, the guy who bought a house and he was uh, inspecting it and the neighbor next door called the police yeah. on Yeah. Keep the camera rolling, but okay. uh, if you have any problems with her, what I want you to do is call me back over here. I'm going to call you as soon as I have a problem with her. She will go to jail. As soon as I have a problem with her, you're going to jail. <laughs> and that was cool that the police showed up. That's one of those cases where the police actually showed up and knew with some bullshit and didn't want to deal with it. And yeah, it turns out that happens every so often. Yeah, every now and then. Every now and then. Can't always depend on that, though, and that's what we'll talk about right now because the latest character to join the Legion of Doom, oh, Martin, it is the most vile and nefarious character that we have here. And the reason why this person is so bad, I'll tell you one a bit in, in a little bit. Let me tell you her name. Have you ever, have you heard of Cornerstone Carolyn? No. <laughs> Cornerstone... <laughs> Cornerstone Carolyn, she comes to the deli. She does her shopping. Ain't nobody want to deal with her crazy ass anyway. They just want to get her out. They're trying to get her out as quickly as they can. She stays around. And then some kid comes by, brushes her on the back, and she says that she was sexually assaulted and calls the police. Jesus. Nine year old boy. Nine years old. And she calls the police saying, I've been sexually assaulted. I'll talk to you. I'm going to stay right here. I'm going to stay right here. What's up? And the camera phone's out already. <laughs> yeah, 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 all of them, all of them. The woman's name is Teresa Klein, by the way. And the accusation that she made specifically now, you hear two kids crying as a small one, yeah. and then there's a bigger boy who's kind of weeping a little bit because he's mm. scared. Yeah. What happened is he was on his way out, 
and uh, she, it, it is said that he brushed up against her, and she took it as him grabbing her ass. Oh, okay. And so that is why she says, I need the police because I was just sexually assaulted. White lady yes. calls the cops on a black lady. I get it. Funny thing is, you can't grab something you don't have. <laughs> you know? Kid might as well just be grabbing air. <laughs> he grabbed the ass I was supposed to have there. <laughs> yeah. He, he, grabbed, my, my air he grabbed my imaginary ass. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they goddamn scarecrow up here calling the police on this kid. Oh, um, yeah, they're, they're videotaping mentally ill. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Her son grabbed my ass. She's calling I mean, this escalates. This video goes on for a while. The whole neighborhood, you know, because you think it's just black people out there. You know, bullshit is bullshit. And everybody starts to recognize it. Yeah. And of course, some other woman, I think it might have been a white woman. Just, so like, why are you making us look bad? <laughs> it's like, you know we've been on the internet. Like, why are you doing this shit? Thank you. Because a little kid, because a little kid brushed up against her and touched her on her butt. Goodbye, not an operator. First of all, I mean, you can't blame the kid for grabbing her ass. Look how hot she is. Of course, man. She looks like a cross between James Wood and Joy Ramone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, who, how could he resist, man? <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, I, I ain't trying to talk shit, but this is a, this is a shame, man, because uh, all this could have been settled if this woman had just, first of all, if she really did feel like she was, and she wasn't, she wasn't. This, but this, if she really did feel like that she was, uh, uh, this boy grabbed her ass. Anybody would have either talked to the mother or even said something to the child. Who's gonna resort to calling the police? Talking about this kid is like she, she called the police like this kid is Bill Cosby or some shit. Well, this happens a, a bunch, especially uh, now where people they, they won't uh, you know confront the person they think uh, assaulted them or offended them. They want to they want to tell the authorities, whoever that might be. And rather than if you would have a, a conversation with that person, mm -hmm. you could easily discover like, oh, this was a complete misunderstanding. But instead, it's there's an assumption made and it's escalated. Yep. And it could have been. Hey, can I look at the tape again? And that's exactly what happened when they got the tape. They said, bitch, ain't nobody tried to grab your ass. It's right here. This boy was walking by. He His really boy. did brush up against you. Mm -hmm. And she was. She was made to to give a still reluctant apology about the incident. You know, some uh, some stuff went out on Twitter. I, you know, this is on the root.com, and all this stuff is floating around everywhere. I won't be able to see this, though, because I, I don't watch television. I don't really like watching myself on camera, which is why I didn't watch the video. I finally found... Even what? you don't like to look at yourself. <laughs> Shit, even you don't want to grab your own ass. And this... <laughs> And then you gonna blame here's, this kid? Here's the evidence right here. Sorry, I don't want to look at myself. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume it's a lie. <laughs> she don't even. She ain't even attracted to her own son. They they say that the woman's not right. The deli owner said, this, you know, she's she's one of these crazy people coming by here. Because as far as I could tell from the way it felt on my butt, it's not the first time I've been grabbed in the ass by a kid. <laughs> Now, you can't even hear this. Somebody in the background, listen to this. Somebody in the background, if you listen closely and listen closely, when she said, this, is, this ain't the first time I've been grabbed on my ass, somebody in the background said, that's a goddamn lie. <laughs> 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 let me see. Oh, let me see. I'll put it back enough. The first time I've been grabbed in the ass by a kid. <laughs> Don't nobody want your ass? You don't even want your ass. Get the fuck out of here with this, man. And I can't she's go outside because all these kids grabbing at my ass. Leave me yeah. alone. <laughs> Just swatting the black children away like flies. People went over to her door, trying to talk to her, and she's doing that shit. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm gonna call the police. Did you have to change your phone number? Call the cops. Why are you calling the cops? You feel unsafe? See, you know, because from the surveillance video, it's showing that. You know, the whole thing is she just keeps responding. I'm calling the cops, and the cops are like, we ain't going out there. Yeah, yeah, you already used up that token. <laughs> yeah, we got shit to do <laughs> instead of fucking with you. So that, uh, that that apology had to be pulled from her. And as I said, the deli owner was saying that the woman's not right. Okay, you know, that's cool, whatever. But 
a lot of people want to come in and claim that this stuff is not racial, especially the people who do it. They want to, and even later on, they, they try to apologize and they try to say, well, you know, I was the one being reasonable. It didn't happen like it happened. You got me wrong, such as when Permit Patty uh, went onto the news to speak out about her version of what happened. That's the woman that tried to call the police on a little girl selling water. I tried to be polite, but I was stern. And, and I said, please, I'm, I'm trying to work. You're screaming, you're yelling, and people have open windows. It's a hot day. Can you please keep it down? I, I, I don't believe that for a second. Whenever somebody recounts a story, mm -hmm. and in their version, they were the ones being, and I was a bit stern, but I just said, could you please keep yeah, it down? Yeah. Like, it never went, it never goes down like that. It's, it, it does sometimes. I don't think it does here. <laughs> she never asked us to be quiet. She just came out and directly demanded to see a permit to sell water from an eight-year-old. Drinking the water. <laughs> illegally drinking my water. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, okay, so I don't, I don't know which side of the story is correct. I wasn't there. I'm not going to try to take sides. I don't know. That's a he said, she said situation right there. She said, she said it situation. It doesn't sound bad either way. Even, it, even as much as he tries to dress it up, it doesn't sound like a bad situation. No. No. What You're talking about the girl selling water doesn't sound like a bad situation. No. The girl was selling water trying to get money for Disneyland. Sure. But you said well, she, was, she was loud with her sales pitch. That, you still don't call the cops over that. You don't call the cops. And, <laughs> you know, the, re the reason why, see, the, the, the reason why you, you, you have to not let people off the hook with these apologies. I mean, you accept it, you move on. Uh, hopefully everybody grows. But this is part of the reason why we're bringing this up because with this, this woman here, Cornerstone, Carolyn or whatever, you know, we, we're beginning to see that these people feel empowered to call the police and why they feel empowered to call the police. It's because th there is a socially ingrained racism in their thought process. That thought process being, whether they realize it or not, and they a lot of times probably do more than we think, that thought process is, when I call the police, they're going to believe me over you. Yeah. We, even, if, even if I'm exaggerating, but this is my way of really sticking it to you because of your history with the police and mine, they're going to believe more than you. It's somebody who realizes whether they would consciously admit it or not, when they hit a certain uh, situation of fear or desperation, they know in the back of their heads, I can weaponize the police. Yeah, exactly. You know, why else would a woman call the police, a 52-year-old a woman, 52-year-old woman, why else would she call the police on a nine-year-old boy other than she knows that the, boy is, the little boy is black and that is going to be her power against him? Like, even, I've been wanting to get the benefit of the doubt but even when, uh, with that situation with Barbecue Becky, you saw how she tried to play the victim. Yeah. Because she knows that that's what police like to see. White woman crying. These black people assaulted me. Yeah, he's not having any of that. No. <laughs> no, that, that's her crying right there. The police got there, and she cut them waterworks on quick. You know, 15 minutes ago, before that, dun 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 you know, she was out there standing strong. Yeah. yeah. I love that policeman. He's like, just let me know when you're done. Yeah. She was out there making justice. And the police got there. They, Black people scared me. You know, they, she knows, like a lot of people do, what would appeal to the police and what will make the people that she called the police on appear even more threatening. This woman... Uh, whatever her name is, Carolyn. Car 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 well, you know, she, she could look at that boy and see he's wearing a big backpack. She, yeah, kind of put it together. A, a schoolboy brushed her on, br probably brushed on her back, probably not even her ass, brushed on her back. A schoolboy with a backpack, and she saw him as a sexual mm -hmm. assaulter. Right. Yeah, I mean, and that is a. Uh, you know, and we see this. You know, we've been seeing this in the news everywhere. We just saw this on some surveillance video. Another kid, teenager with a backpack on, comes up to the steps of, uh, of, of a, guy's, uh, a guy's house because he missed the bus. And he came up there to ask for directions. And this is how my man came out and responded. And while he was running, he heard the distinctive sound of a gun being fired. But I did find a spent casing in the chamber. 53-year-old Jeffrey Ziegler is charged with assault with intent to murder in possession of a firearm. Now, funny thing with his story is that my man said that he came out there to uh,
to scare the kid because he's been getting robbed. This is in broad daylight. I don't know what robbers knock on the door to let you know they're going to steal your <laughs> shit in the middle of the day. Like the most gentlemanly yeah, of robbers. Of course. It's a very polite robber right there, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for being so considerate. Raffles, take my, take the, my shit. The gentleman thief. <laughs> <laughs> but my man said, well, I want to scare him. He took aim. Like, he was hunting his ass. Yeah. You know, when you want to scare somebody, you put your rifle up in the air and you... Right. Shit, you, you and a neighbor, you don't even fire. You say, bang! <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't aim and fire. But this guy saw him as a threat. He, he was, and I think because the, if the gun hadn't jammed, that kid probably would have been dead. Oh, yeah. You know, looking at these kind of things where you accuse these kids, children... This is how heinous this is, man. This is why this has to be said and mentioned and talked about because it's something that's happening on on an epidemic level, man. You know, this is you know these 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 children being seen as dangerous. The reason why it's so upsetting to people like us because we know in our history this is going this goes back to two words: Emmett Till. Yeah, Emmett Till was a young boy. I don't even think he was. He, I think he was sixteen, maybe maybe younger. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, he might have been yeah. 15, 14, but, he, but, the, but the whole story for years that we were taught in history was that Emmett Till, back in 1955, he whistled at a white woman in the South because he was, from, uh, he was from, up, uh, from up north, and the husbands of the, uh, well, a husband and a, and a, and a friend of his, uh, they caught him and beat him, uh, uh, beat him to death and then threw him in the water, and his body was so badly uh, decomposed that they left, they left the open casket to show you what ugly violent racism looks like that's what his mother did uh i you know some things you got to learn to like let go and not internalize hate i'm still happy to say that those two dudes died from cancer yeah and i, I couldn't be happier for them the only one the only survivors left from that that situation is this woman right here who's still alive i believe carolyn bryant donham who through all these years when we would believe that this kid uh whistled at her uh she said that that was false that was a false story. Yeah. And, you know, this is, again, this is uh, somebody who called the police on a child because they feared them. And we see the same shit happening today with these calls, man. You know, it's uh, to the point where, you know, we even, that Legion of Doom, we, there's another one out there that ain't even got a name yet that popped up this weekend. Really? Two for one. Two for one, man. We got a bargain this weekend, Mark. <laughs> Somebody had a racist coupon out there. We, oh, man. There was a guy, babysitter. Uh, a guy was, uh, they call it black while babysitting. Black dude was keeping two white kids. He was babysitting these two white kids. And, uh, this, and this is in Georgia, I believe. This woman called the cops on him because, well, ain't no black man that's been going around with two little white children. Someone had called 911 reporting a suspicious black man with the children. See this black gentleman with these two little white kids and my... So I just had a funny feeling. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just can't fight this feeling yeah. anymore. <laughs> this is, the, the, had, is there any doubt in your mind, anybody's mind, had that been a white man with two little black children, people would have been like, oh, that's sweet. He adopted two uh -huh. little black African yeah. kids. Yeah. Is there any doubt in your mind? No, no. At not, all? Not at all. Not at all. You know, the, the, the reason why this is important to talk about because I mean, this kind of thing happens when you have a a dark skinned mother who has two biracial kids. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm telling you, man, you know, it's, it, the, it's the, it, the assumption is that she's the nanny or the maid or the babysitter. Yeah, but you know that, that shit. This nigga done kidnapped these two white mm -hmm. kids <laughs> in broad daylight. Right, <laughs> <laughs> just driving around getting gas. He's he's wearing fluorescent yeah. green. <laughs> yeah, well, you gotta keep him fed. You know, they ain't gonna get the money if they starve to death. <laughs> The reason why we're saying this is because the, what it really, what I need to drive home for people out there is that we give these nicknames, we laugh about this because sometimes it's just so ridiculous that what else can you do? Right. But, but ultimately it's, it's not funny. But it's ultimately not funny because what people don't understand and still don't get about calling the cops on certain people. And by the way, I got to say that this woman went, she, she, she talk about a bargain. She went twofold with hers, man. She knocked. She got. She knocked out two birds with one stone. Not only did she like come in and 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 insult all black people with this, but this was a big insult. This corner store, Carolyn. This is a big insult to the Me Too movement. Mm. For every woman yeah. that that was out there that was that has been legitimately assaulted, mm -hmm. this is the hugest slap in the face and insult to sure. them. Sure. The thing you gotta understand about calling the cops next time, 
you think about calling the cops. And let's just say that, you know, it's a situation like this. It's uncomfortable to talk about, but let's just say that you are a Caucasian person. You decide to call the cops on somebody of color, especially a black male. You have to understand, for us, it's not about, it's not about uh, inconvenience. It's not about embarrassment. It's all of that, too. But it's about safety, man. The same reason that this man pulled out this gun on this kid is because he had fear. And some cops have that same fear that he does, and they are armed like him. Right, right. And, yeah, they're, they're, they're itchy, and their feeling is, if I feel like I'm going to be threatened at all, my next move is to pull out the gun and shoot. Uh, b b without talking, without I, I can't spare the time to look over the situation and analyze it. I yeah. have to shoot first before anything else my happens. Life is, yeah, my life is threatened. We, this is just a movie that came out about this. Uh, the movie we're talking about, The Hate You Give. Yeah. More than any movie I've seen for a, for a multitude of audience of diversities, of different diversities, uh, it's, it captures that whole thing of why there's a double standard for why people have to respond to the cops or how people have to re respond to the cops. Well, you know, if you are of a race where you don't fear cops, you, you might grow up thinking, oh, it's this way for everybody. And it's just so not. And, and, and at this point, with the way it's, the way it's broadcast so widely all the time with incident after incident, if you still think that way, it's because you're trying to. Careful, we all have to learn how to respond to each other, respect each other in different ways, but understand that the same consequences for some people is, is more dire for others. Yeah. You know, it's just, that's how it is, so. I mean, like I said, next time we decide to give a nickname, that's funny, we'll, uh, we'll laugh about it, we'll have a good time, we'll dissect it, we'll talk about it, we'll hopefully we'll get things done, but when it's all said and done, it's not, not all that funny, man, you know. Uh, Cornerstone, uh, uh, what's her name? Cornerstone, Carolyn. Car Carolyn. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Oz out there trying to break it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cornerstone, Carolyn, about to make some dude be dead Dan or something. You, know? <laughs> Shit is, you gotta be careful, man. Watch it. Watch it with all that out there. Oh, somebody said another Legion of Doom member popped up just now. While we were talking. Oh, while we were talking. Boy, they are high in recruitment right now. <laughs> Chester sent you another email. Chester sent another. Yeah, I got Chester's right here. Chester says... Just letting you know, recruitment is high for the Legion. They said, just letting you know, there was a one last member you missed out on this weekend. A young white woman refused to let a black man to his building just because she thought he didn't belong yep. there. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, I didn't see this. this. Yeah, I saw this one. That's okay. fine. I understand them, but you're blocking me. Into my here. building. Okay. okay. It's my building as well, so I need you to get out of my way. So excuse me, ma'am. I'm uncomfortable. Me. Okay, you can be uncomfortable. That's, that's wow. your question. You're uncomfortable because you're you. I just got to say, the audacity, man. Where's ludicrous when you need it? Move, <laughs> bitch, get out of the way. <laughs> Shit, this is Come ludicrous on. right here. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe the audacity to, like, a man is going to his own home, and this woman is stopping him, physically pushing him out the way from entering his home. Can you, I mean, uh, can, like his apartment complex? Is that what that yeah, is? Yeah, because there's a key fob. So, like, yeah, oh yeah. She, I guess the door was open, or maybe he didn't have to just use it. Bizarre. And she was uncomfortable with yeah. the situation. You don't have a key fob. You are. No. No. I don't like the fact you have your phone in my face. Okay, I don't like the fact that you're blocking me for where I pay. Now, see, this is what people mean when they say privilege. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to sit up here and block you from getting into your home, but I don't want you in my face. Right. <laughs> and, and here's the fucked up thing. If he just goes right past her and they find out what apartment he's in, then they're going to open the door and shoot him dead. And yeah. be like, oh, it was an accident. She called in a threat. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, so he's damned if he does, damned if he doesn't. So it's what does an, he do? Yeah, what does he do? This is an safe? awkward position. I mean, for one, just let's just take even the race out of it. It's a man being confronted by a woman. A white woman. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, let's take, oh, no, oh, no, take no, 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 take a race out of it. It's a man being confronted by a woman. And imagine that you can't put your hands on her, man. Right, right. You cannot do anything. And now is heightened by this being a white woman and a black man trying to get into his well, home. Also, the, she set up the situation of, well, if you live here, then show me your fob. Back and forth, okay, fine, here it is. Now, she doesn't want to back down. Yeah. Now, now her focus is, well, you got your phone in my face. Yeah, good point. The second man, my bond will walk through where I live at. So. No. Excuse me. No. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, she got to look like, how dare you? <laughs> she looked at him like, nigga, please. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you not hear my voice? You're just going to uh, defy me? <laughs> You're just going to walk past me? <laughs>
<laughs> I said, Mark, you gonna, how dare you define me? <laughs> and push your way in. Your dog's taking a shit on the floor right now. <laughs> no. No, the dog is like, God damn it, let's go. <laughs> Wait, come on. I didn't watch all of it. She followed him into the goddamn elevator? Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Getting the She's getting, getting on the elevator. <laughs> She, you know, she got that look like, well, I might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I really, but she got to commit to this, uh-huh. like you said, Martin. Mm-hmm. You dust off my resume. <laughs> no, I want to know who you're going to see. <laughs> 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 the audacity of this bitch. <laughs> Put that up the ruthless one. You want my house? Where I live at where I pay. Oh, now that she's wrong, look at her trying to weasel like her way out yeah, of this. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to introduce myself as a neighbor. <laughs> now, Why can't you come back I'm, and be friendly? Yeah. Now she want to be Mr. Rogers. Hello, neighbor. What's your name? Neighbor. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you weren't too friendly downstairs. But if uh, he plays his card right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> he might get some pussy. <laughs> I do not want to speak with you. Please stop following me. I want to call the cops for harassment. What, uh, me all the way to my door. What, what Tom says right here, he's like, I'd like to meet you so you can delete that video. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how this shit goes. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, now I'm... if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go upload this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you see my keys in the door. Don't ever do that again. Make sure you stupid on video. Have a nice night. And my name is Mr. Tolls. Thank you. <laughs> wow. He just went into his apartment. Like he was supposed to. No, she was trying to weasel her way out of there because yeah. she knows exactly where this is going. Which, if that's the case, then why do you do that? <laughs> you know? Yeah, she was all full of herself when it started. And then she was like, she didn't have an exit strategy. Right. No, she did. No, she did not. And now she knows. She saw the pattern where this goes. The woman ain't stupid. She sees where this goes. She sees people being put online. She sees people being publicly shamed and embarrassed, even losing their jobs. And she, that's when she knew it was like, fuck. That could be me. Yeah, maybe if I stick with it long enough, I can turn it around. Yeah. We can become friends. Yeah. <laughs> Again, let's go back to what would happen if that was a person who didn't look like that walking in under the same conditions. Mm-hmm. Would she follow that person right. like that? Right. I don't think so. Yeah. For the record, I believe this shit at yeah. all. Yeah. No. For the record, if any of this stuff happens to me, I'm going to double toast Facebook Live. I'm just turning that shit on. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so all you toasters can see me getting harassed like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. You better do it too, and you better do it too. And you better. Oh, you're not going to have it. Oh, she. Ah! Oh, 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 well, that was fast. That was fast. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> they, they have our name and everything? What? Well, come here. What? What's her name, man? What? Uh, the deets. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> she was working for a firm, and she got fired. She was working for a firm. Why is always lawyers doing this shit? It's always someone working for a law man, firm. Lo- doing let me tell you something. Wasn't it the 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 lady who threw? What? what? No, this morning they posted her, her name. That she come here. Say this on the on the mic right here. This morning they posted everything, huh? This happened this morning. So yeah, this morning we were driving and it popped on my feet. So she got fired. Everything was posted. Her address, where she worked, family stuff. Like everything got leaked. Like well, she totally said her apartment. Number. She said everything on it. I don't. Yeah, apartment three hundred two. There's no explanation. I, I, and, and you know what? To answer your question, that's what I was gonna say. I was thinking about what I was gonna say. The, 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 a lot of people. There's an extra layer of privilege to people who think that they work for a prestigious company or a law firm. I can tell you this right now. I almost did this to a, to a girl. This is the same thing. My wife was with me. She can tell you. I almost did this to a girl, but I was friendly. I was nice. I didn't cause a scene. But this girl was with a group of other girls at a table. And they were just loud. They were laughing. We said nothing to them. We got up and moved tables. And I could hear them whispering, oh, we too loud. Bye. See you. Mm-hmm. And then we didn't say a word. And then the girl passes by. And she says, as she's passing me, she's like, listen, I'm sorry we were too loud. I didn't, I, you know, I'm, I know that we're being really obnoxious right now. And then she follows up with, but we're not going to stop. <laughs> and I was like, oh. well, wow. And I asked her, I asked her everything. And I, I thought about doing this shit, but I, I don't need the attention of yeah. putting somebody on the internet. But I asked mm-hmm. her what she did and everything, just in case I want to put on camera. And she worked at a law firm. Mm-hmm. My wife can tell you about it. I was friendly. It's one of the times I really had to fucking swallow my pride, man, and say nothing because we were trying to have a good night. But that's an extra layer of privilege that's on that, man. And now look at her. 
Mm. Y'all, y'all need to st- look. How, do, how, many, how many times does that have to have to have to happen? Well, yeah, that just never works out good for anybody. No, mind your business. This whole citizens arrest mentality. Well, again, you know, everybody sees the double standards that goes on with this man. You, this woman would not do that to anybody else if it didn't look like that guy. And to add insult to injury, the whole comment, uh, who are you going to see here in this apartment? Yeah. That, that was the one that I went like, oh, no. Yeah. Uh, no. This yeah. Bullshit. I'm going to see Mr. None of your goddamn business. <laughs> <laughs> and what, that's what, what Which one is he in? <laughs> 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 I want to be neighbors. 